So, <laughs> some of the ob obstacles I faced um, before I came to Penn State was being involved in, in a local street gang in Philadelphia. Um, at that point in my life, I didn't really have any knowledge of self, and I was just um, just trying to fit in so much. And um, that lifestyle brought many um, hard, hard moments in my life where I was fighting all the time and just um, being shot at and things like that. And those are things that I never had to put myself through in the first place. However, um, moving right along in this, in this marathon, um, I graduated high school with straight A's, but when I came to college, I failed every first exam and I got a D on my first paper, right? And at that point in my life in college, I was like, I don't even know if college is for me because how can I go from straight A's to failing exams? So I realized that I had to take a different approach, that I, I wasn't entitled to all of those A's that I, I got in high school, that I actually had to work hard for something, and that what I put into college is exactly what I would get out of it. But also, um, just a transformation of identity as well, because when you're put into a different place, um, I always think of myself as a flower that has that was in the dark with limited resources and limited water for sustenance, right? But when you go to the right place, like Penn State, and you're given the right resources to grow and nurture and just expand your mind, your spirit, and everything like that, it allows you to bloom into your full potential. So, yeah. So I always think about when I, when I found my potential, it has to be found in areas we're not looking in, right? Um, this is, I always say, you can't find it on Google Maps, right? This has to be an internal process. You have to search within yourself. Um, even when I think about motivational speeches, if I can't motivate myself first, I can't even listen to a, a motivational speech by someone else because at the end of the day, it's all about how we govern ourselves, right? So in terms of finding potential, it really starts with you realizing what do you want? And what does it look like? And what does it feel like? And at that point, you just, you, you, you find yourself in a place where you can just, it's always oh, right there. Oh, well, maybe if I, I don't have to just be, I don't have to be so hard on myself because this is all a process. If we don't have, um, I would suggest to first year students that don't have the microwave mentality. We don't want this process to develop like food, like popcorn, right? We want it to be in the oven so it can, it can solidify, it can marinate, but also it will come out when it's ready.